When you have diarrhea, the pain can feel like your stomach is twisting in on itself. It's uncomfortable, exhausting, and sometimes overwhelming. But that pain isn't random. It's part of a chain of protective reactions that your body triggers when it senses trouble inside your digestive system. Let's start with what's really happening. Your intestines are lined with a vast network of nerves. These nerves constantly monitor what's going on inside, how much food is passing through, whether there are harmful bacteria or toxins, and whether the muscles of your gut are moving properly. When something goes wrong, for example, you eat contaminated food, drink something too cold, or catch a stomach virus, these nerves send distress signals to your brain. That's the pain you feel. It's your body's early warning system saying, something isn't right. Once that alarm goes off, your brain and your enteric nervous system, sometimes called your second brain, activate an emergency response. Their mission is simple, get the harmful material out of your body as fast as possible. To do that, your intestines shift into overdrive. Glands along the intestinal walls begin secreting extra fluid to flush out the toxins. The muscles of your gut start to contract more rapidly, pushing the contents forward at high speed. The result? is watery stool that moves through before your body has time to reabsorb water. That's diarrhea, and the pain that comes with it is caused by those intense repeated muscle contractions and the overstimulation of your gut's sensitive nerves. In short, your body is trying to protect you, even though it feels miserable in the process. The pain can also be made worse by inflammation. When your immune system detects infection, it releases chemical messengers called cytokines. These make the intestinal walls more sensitive and cause them to swell slightly, which increases pressure and amplifies pain signals. That's why some stomach bugs or food poisoning cases feel like sharp, cramping pain that won't let up. And there's more. Temperature and chemical triggers can also irritate the gut. Drinking ice cold water after being overheated can suddenly change the temperature inside your intestines and make the nerves react strongly. Spicy foods contain capsaicin, the compound that makes chili burn, which binds to receptors in your intestines that sense heat and pain. That's why too much spice can lead to both stomach pain and burning sensations when you go to the bathroom. Emotional stress is another common trigger. When you're anxious or under pressure, say before an exam or a big meeting, your body releases stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones alter how your gut muscles contract and how sensitive your nerves are. The result can be that familiar nervous stomach or sudden urge to run to the bathroom when you're tense. All these factors combine to make the experience of diarrhea both physically and emotionally draining. Rapid fluid loss can lead to dehydration and an imbalance of electrolytes, leaving you weak, dizzy, and lightheaded. Your rectum also has a limited capacity, around 300 milliliters. So, when your intestines move everything through too quickly, the muscles at the end of the line struggle to hold it back. That's why it can feel so urgent and hard to control. After repeated bowel movements, another kind of pain can appear. The burning discomfort around the anus. The skin in this area is thin and full of nerve endings. When it's exposed to frequent wiping, acidic stool, or spicy residue, it can become irritated or even slightly inflamed. This pain can linger for hours after everything else has settled. So, yes, it hurts but the pain serves a purpose. It's a signal that your digestive system is working hard to remove whatever is threatening it. Diarrhea is essentially your body's rapid response detox system. Once the infection or irritation clears, the muscles slow down, the inflammation eases, and the pain fades away. However, not all diarrhea should be ignored. According to the Guidelines for Diagnosis and Treatment of Acute Infectious Diarrhea, 2020 edition, Diarrhea remains one of the most common illnesses in children and one of the leading causes of death in children under five. For adults, it's usually less dangerous but still serious if it lasts too long. Here's when you should seek medical help. If a child's diarrhea continues for more than 24 hours or an adult's lasts longer than two days without improvement, especially if it's accompanied by severe abdominal pain, blood in the stool, or a fever above 39 degrees Celsius, 102 degrees Fahrenheit, it's time to see a doctor. These symptoms could indicate a bacterial infection, a viral illness like rotavirus or norovirus, or other intestinal conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome or inflammatory bowel disease. Each requires different treatment. 
In the meantime, hydration is crucial. Every episode of diarrhea causes your body to lose water and electrolytes, replacing them with oral rehydration solutions, soups, or diluted fruit juices helps prevent dehydration. Avoid alcohol, caffeine, and dairy during recovery, as they can worsen symptoms. And if your digestive system tends to be sensitive, some simple habits can help. Eat regularly. Avoid extremely spicy or greasy foods. Limit ice-cold drinks and manage stress through rest and movement. Your gut is highly responsive to what you eat, drink, and feel. Treat it gently and it will function smoothly. So, the next time your stomach cramps and your body rushes into overdrive, remember, the pain of diarrhea isn't just random suffering, it's the sound of your body protecting itself, flushing out danger the fastest way it can. It may not be pleasant, but it's proof that your system is doing exactly what it's designed to do, keep you alive and get you back to balance.